Fact of the day. Hello, hi, and welcome to Fact of the Day. Today's one I am uber excited about. So, my favourite animal used to be um, the peregrine falcon because it's the fastest animal on the planet. Um, that's another day. But my new favourite animal, and I've just kind of been dwelling on my mind a bit, and it's definitely my new favourite animal, is called a tardigrade, also known as a water bear or a moss piglet. It's only between 0.5 millimetres and one millimeter in terms of the length of it, but it is insane. So basically, this um, this animal, it's it can be found in the Antarctic ice. It can be found at the bottom of the seabed, fourteen thousand feet under the ocean, um, in the sea at the bottom of the sea, and it can also be found at the top of the Himalayas, twenty thousand feet above the actual layer of the um, Wasmajigami. Right. So what does it look like? Uh, so a um, Tardigrade has got four pairs of legs, and each pair of legs has got between four and eight claws. They're like bear claws, that's why they're called water bears. Um, the cells, oh gosh, this is just insane. If you do anything, if you know anything about biology, this is ridiculous. Um, so the set, so when a tardigrade emerges from the egg, then it has all the cells that it needs as an adult. It doesn't get any more, it doesn't divide by mitosis or get any more cells. We, when we grow, our cells divide but tardigrade cells don't divide, it just comes out as a little baby tardigrade and then the cells just get bigger for it to become an adult tardigrade. How cool is that? Where can it survive? How can it survive? So it can survive temperatures of up to 151 degrees Celsius, um, that's the hottest, and can survive those for a few minutes. It can survive at minus 200 degrees Celsius for a few days, or minus 272, so the coldest temperature ever available in the entire universe is minus 273 degrees Celsius, which is called absolute zero. Tardigrade can survive at one degree hotter than that, and it can survive that for a few minutes. It can survive radiation of 5,000 GYs, um, so that's gamma radiation. GY is a measure of how much radiation an organism can take. Humans, we can only take between five and ten. It can survive five thousand. Five thousand. It does this thing called cryptobiosis. So cryptobiosis is basically where it stops all its metabolic activity. It says no more metabolic activity, like down to zero point zero point one percent of what it was doing. And it can also get rid of all of the water, apart from about one to three percent of the water in its body. So it just stops all of that. They've sent tardigrades up in space, literally out into space. And then, and then when they bring the tardigrades down, back down from the space, after being in space for 10 days, yes, added, rehydrated them, there's a helicopter, can you see that? There's a helicopter right there. Oh my gosh, that's cool. Um, so, and then they bring them back down from the space for 10 days after being actually in space, and they rehydrate them, and the tardigrades fine again. And they just started reproducing and laying eggs. How insane is that? Tardigrades, the most awesome, you're gonna love it, okay? Thank you. It, that's it from me for tonight. Love you, bye.